Why don't you go ahead and tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And today we got a special video for you because Fortnite just had a unique new update that might change how you play the game forever. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about gyro controls. And by the looks of it, it could be revolutionary for aim mechanics. All right, guys, so let's just dive right in and explore this brand new control scheme. So, what exactly is gyro control? Well, if you've ever played on a Switch or a PS5 controller, then gyro is what allows you to move a controller to move things on the screen. You know, you can do a variety of different things with this, such as, you know, navigating menus and, you know, simulating gameplay in a more realistic way, or simply using motion control to perform actions. If you happen to play Fortnite on Switch, then you might already have some familiarity with how these controls work. In fact, you know, some would say that because of gyro controls, snipers are a Switch player best friend and so with the PlayStation and PC version of Fortnite the same rule applies and with the new motion controls you're gonna be able to activate the setting on certain controllers Fortnite fans have always been interested in a new control scheme that allows for more precise aiming and specifically for controller players you know it's no secret that keyboard players always have an advantage over controller players and in response Fortnite added aim assist to even the odds between players who have preferred control schemes gyro controls on the other hand are a new step you know which could definitely help even the odds even further fun fact you know this isn't like the first game to get this new feature and it has been implemented in other games such as counter-strike global offensive and so give it a few weeks in the wild and you know just perhaps we're gonna see that gap get tighter all right so speaking of aiming gyro controls are exciting but before you try mastering your aim using motion controls you need to master your aim as it is right now for that you should visit aim lab by clicking on the link below there you're gonna be able to find fully customizable aim training exercises that's gonna help you elevate your skills no matter what skill bracket that you come in from. So try Aim Lab today and become the Aim legend that you always wanted to be. You know, when you first turn on gyro controls, you're gonna be able to use your controller to aim when you hold down the sights or when you're in the process of editing. Now, this can be a relief for players who are worried that moving the controller in or, you know, even the slightest direction was gonna throw you guys off course. So let's just set up the gyro, shall we? So if you have a compatible controller, you should be able to access the gyro control settings. The first thing that you need to do is turn it on and you can do this right from the settings menu. And so if you guys wanna do this on PC, you're gonna need a wired connection to your PS4 or PS5 controller. So one once your gyro is on, you're gonna need to figure out exactly when you actually wanna use it. This setting is called the active mode, a combat setting that, that you can just adjust it from a variety of different options. These are scope only, scope or aiming, and scope aiming, harvesting, and always. These settings here, and I mean like right here, allow you to full control over how you want to use gyro controls, and it's only the first half. So if you guys use scope only, then gyro controls will only activate when you're using scopes. This way, you're still able to control standard weapons as you normally would. When you activate scope, or aiming it adds the new effect to you when you aim down the sights this is perfect for when you want that newfound precision in your shots when you have it on for scopes aiming and harvesting you're going to be able to use gyro when you need to farm mats and so this can make it somewhat easier to really hit that weak point and take down structures faster if you practice it enough you can become way more precise than you currently are building and editing controls fall under their own separate categories so you know you could just mix and match your aiming and your building settings as much as you guys want when adjusting these separate settings you can just have gyro controls only while you edit or you can just have them activated for both at the same time building does not have its own category all right so one final warning before you guys start going full gyro we recommend that you try playing with each setting separately before you guys decide just to turn it on for everything and after all like with it being a whole new control scheme to really get used to you know the more you guys tweak it the more difficult it's gonna be to really adjust to it so take some baby steps and just find your bearing also find which type of scheme that you prefer to use and how much you guys want to incorporate gyro controls into your play style. If you have gyro settings always on, then it is definitely recommended that you have a way to toggle it on and off whenever you need to. You can use the look stick to really do this, and the setting here will determine whether you can use the look stick to activate it or deactivate it. While this setting is on, keep in mind guys that the stick will no longer function to look up or down. Because it has the new setting applied to you, you know, it'll have to rely entirely on gyro to do your scans of the area. So the reason that you should have this setting on is for like whenever you need to reset the gyro during a match. Gyro allows you to really move your controller around, but eventually you're going to want to snap it back to its original position or adjust it the way that you're holding the controller without getting tangled in an invisible string of controller commands, right?
You know, one of the biggest benefits of gyro controls is the ability to snap it one direction suddenly. This is called the flick stick setting. The interesting thing about this setting is how much of an impact it's already had on the Fortnite community's interest in this feature. Players are always trying to find, you know, the next big advantage, whether it's something as an outright as the ability to slide or something a bit more subtle, such as aim assist. So stick flicking seems like a great way to snap at your enemy and get into position. So how does flick stick work exactly? Good question. Well, first of all, you need gyro aim enabled and this is going to free up your stick with flick stick enabled you can tilt it in any direction to make a sudden flicking motion flick left and you're going to quickly aim to the left flick right and you're going to quickly do it to the right however the most impressive way to flick is flicking backwards tilt your stick back and you're going to do a complete 180 that can catch your opponents by surprise i mean it is absolutely insane how fast this thing is and you know if we didn't know any better we say that we'll definitely see this pop up in the future metas so the next thing that we want to talk about is the lack of recoil. Wait, what? No recoil. Well, it seems that players have already begun experimenting with gyro controls and have discovered a few interesting things about it. You know, when using the ADS rifle, players have found that the recoil is just little to non-existent in some cases. And so this is absolutely wild. And if players find out how to wield it properly, I mean, it might be a bit overpowered if it crops up an arena. The ADS rifle is already like one of the most powerful weapons in the current meta and seeing motion controls only enhance it even more. I mean, it might even just make it even a bigger powerhouse. And so whether or not this little phenomena will get patched at some point, I mean, it's just really still up in the air. You know, there's also the possibility that this is intentional. And so with no aim assist and having to move the controller itself, perhaps Epic decided it needed some perks so it could just also thrive in the current meta. If you're interested in training your gyro controls, then you should definitely start like most of the pros do with standard training. You know, find some creator codes and just start practicing your aim courses. The biggest adjustment for this is going to be your muscle memory. And so if you're accustomed to moving the thumbstick using well, your thumbs, you're gonna have to start from scratch and really learn how to move your hand. And so if you want some tips on this, then you know, make sure that you're holding the controller in a way that feels comfortable. Many players prefer to have their controllers on their lap. The worst thing that you can do here is just constantly have your hands elevated and so if you use the mouse for Fortnite before then you might find moving your arm a bit easier just remember that you're going to be holding the full weight of the controller while controllers don't weigh that much you know constantly moving it can become slightly tedious if you're not adjusted to it all right, so speaking of your controller, like any mechanic, aiming with gyro also has a series of advanced settings that allows you to fully customize it to your own preference. And so there are also a few meters that really let you change the multiplier for certain actions. Okay, so if you want to move your controller less during some actions, this is the place to really tweak that so you don't have to. All right, so think of it in the same vein as mouse players using their arms to aim while others adjust it so that they can just play with their wrist. You know, tweak it just right and you won't have to move the controller as much if you don't want to. Just make sure to practice practice when you make the changes. All right, so before we drop you guys off today, don't forget to check out Aim Lab so you can just annihilate your opponents the next time you drop from the battle bus. But you are summing, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, this is your motivation guy. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, sub to the channel, man. Spread the word, we got so much going on in this channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, these controls are brand new and we don't expect you to master them right away or even have some specific settings that work. You know, this is where the community really comes in to really help discover new ways to use gyro controls the same way that we discover new strategies every day, right? So make sure, man, get involved with us and what we're doing we believe in you guys and connect with my instagram at your motivation guy we'll see you on the next one peace